YouTube. I'm out here. I got a Mahindra 3016 tractor, and uh, I'm gonna change a hose on the oil tube that I haven't seen any reference to on YouTube, and uh, we'll see how this works. I called the parts department, they don't have the part, so I'm getting ready to pull this off and uh, take the hose down there, try to match it up, and get another one on there. Somehow, I got a stick right in the hose. It's only about two inches long and somehow miraculously my eyes are really good that I got a stick in there. So I put a hole in it, all of my oil is draining out. So I got to get in there and uh, see where that, let me see. And you can see where that little drip pan is right there. So it's directly under there. And uh, I'll try to show you a video of where this thing is because I'm not going to show a video of how to change it because let me see there it is right there you can see the, the you can see the little clamps on there i was gonna go take that off and uh be right back okay i got the pie uh, the tube off and actually uh, you can see i had to push the pipe up and pull the other one down just a little bit uh not enough to degrade the pipe just to get that hose off I didn't have to loosen anything else up and uh, I got the the two who are that there they are I got the two hose clamps hanging down over there might get some new ones because those were a little bit hard to get at with the screwdriver had to use the vice grips to get them off and here's the hose it's uh pretty much it looks like a standard radiator hose that holds oil but as you can see let me see if i can find that hole yeah there's the hole right there to the, the stick went in and let all my oil start coming out so obviously this is i don't know if it's under pressure but it definitely drains the oil but uh, i'll go get that replaced and uh put it back in there and we'll see how it works gotta probably put a couple quarts of oil in there as well. okay it's the next day uh, i didn't finish it up yesterday it got started raining so I went and got the hoses. Unfortunately, I went ahead and put the hose on and I didn't uh, I didn't show that. But anyhow, we'll look at the original hose here. It's got a smaller side and a bigger side. So I got a hose with the smaller side, equal the same size. And then I got a hose with the bigger side because this stuff was really, really hard. And I figured I'd have more of a chance clamping it down and squeezing it than I would have getting it wider to get it back on that bigger pipe. So I went ahead and went with the bigger hose and then I clamped it down and it uh, it worked pretty good. So we'll go down and look uh, below and see the uh, see the work. I got two clamps on it and there it is. Um, it's holding on pretty tight. I don't have any leaks. No uh, No drips at the elbow there so so far it's holding pretty good uh, I thought I'd get five gallons of hydraulic fluid and put it all in there and it's not full enough so now I got to put some more so I got five more gallons the capacity is about 10 so uh, hopefully it won't need no more than what I got so the uh, hydraulic fluid goes there's the dipstick for it uh, since I don't have a tripod, I'm going to go ahead and figure you're smart enough to open this up and uh, pour the fluid in there until the dipstick starts getting wet. So we'll go ahead and, and leave it there for now. Okay, I've got my, I put about two more quarts in there and I got, uh, I got some color about halfway up the dipstick. So I think we're going to stop there, put the top on there and call that done. And uh, there, another issue I had um, that I thought was the same problem. I thought it was shutting off automatically because it was low on fluid. I thought there was some kind of sensor, but I noticed that my uh, fuel filter looked a little on the dirty side. So I took that bowl down, cleaned it out, and uh, I got it working. But I ordered three new filters, so I should get another filter here in a couple days and I'll try to make a video putting that in it's not too hard there's plenty of YouTube videos on about that so uh, what you see dripping right now is uh, it's rain and it's uh, water dripping down the side there so that's not fuel okay see ya